D.A. Rivers, the L.A. Clippers head coach, Doc Rivers, just got fired. I'm absolutely stunned. I'm shocked. I was looking to see if he got fired or if they mutually came to agreements, whether he got the boot or not. But at the end of the day, all I could find is Doc Rivers is out, which is basically code for he got fired. They gave him the boot. He stinks. Once the Clippers blew a 3-1 lead, I knew that changes needed to be made. But I felt it was either fire the head coach, Doc Rivers, or trade away Paulie, a.k.a. Paul George, a.k.a. Playoff P, a.k.a. Playoff Bum, Grade A Basuda. Nah, bruh, I ain't rocking with Paulie no more. I've been slurping him up Paul for past litness when he went against LeBron. But man, this man has disappointed me so much in these past few years. I feel like trading him would have been the answer. I knew the writing was on the wall when there were reports that Paul George had some beef in the locker room with my man Montrez Harrell, a big black goon for the LA Clippers. And some of the things that Harrell said was basically, yo, Paul George doesn't let people tell him what time it is. Because every time you say something to him, he thinks he's right because he's an all-star caliber player. And that's not healthy. So the way that I'm looking at it is, there's a few players on the Clippers that were here before Kawizi Manizi, Kawhi Leonard, and Paulie Paul George joined the team. If you keep Paul George and they already side-eyeing him, it don't matter which head coach you bring in. Y'all gonna have the most talent, but y'all not gonna wanna work together, almost like Shaq and Kobe. Y'all not gonna be friends. So I'm shocked that they chose to fire the head coach instead of trade Paulie. But it makes sense though. Not only do I feel like the coach need to hold Paul George accountable when he's stinking it up and when other people feel a certain way about him, this is the third time that Doc Rivers has blown a 3-1 lead. You can't blow three 3-1 leads and think you still gonna keep your job. Are you crazy? And to be fair, my man's Doc has really been living off of being lit and winning a chip with the big three with the Boston Celtics. That was mad long ago, bro. These days, you blown two 3-1 leads since then and three overall. You gotta go, man. At the end of the day, as somebody who knew that LeBron James was the best player in the league, I am laughing looking at what's going on to the Clippers. And this is what comes with championship expectations. Not everybody's built for it. Clearly, the Clippers were not, especially in the bubble.